Rick Mercer. You might be asking yourselves, who is this guy? Where is he from? And why do you insist on opening an episode by saying someone's name? That's because Rick Mercer is a national treasure. Not the same way as we regard things like Putin or universal healthcare as national treasures. No. Comedian, writer, producer, actor, TV host, satirist, you name it, he's done it. Folks, get ready to become an expert on all things Mercer on this week's episode of Out of Frame. Uh, Tiffany? Where's Adam? Tiffany! Oh, hey, Buff. I didn't hear you. And that's because I'm reading a book about Rick Mercer. Wow, he has done so much and he's so funny while he does it. Tell me about it. But what are you doing here? You're not the host. You're the producer. Ah, uh, well, you see, Adam and Alessandra are off this week. No, oh, there's a rumor going around that they're actually at a secret location plotting a way to get rid of Buff. Huh? Don't worry at all, Buff. I know all there is to know about this week's famous Canadian. So just hold on. Let me get ready here. Okay. Rick Vincent Mercer was born in St. John's, Newfoundland on October 17th, 1969. Mercer really had a knack for the funny stuff since his high school days. The very first performance piece he ever helped to write won the Newfoundland High School Drama Festival. It was a one act play called The 20 Minute Psychiatric Workout. Rick seems to really love the 20s for the titles of his shows. He sure does. Mercer focused on honing his writing skills by creating original sketches with some high school colleagues, and they started their very own professional theater company called Corey and Wade's Playhouse. They performed their sketches in St. John's. When he was 18, working as a dishwasher, Mercer talked his way into a job doing comedic commentary for the CBC radio while he was cleaning a table where producers happened to be dining. Rick's got the smooth networking moves. He sure does. But Rick Mercer really came onto our country's radar when in 1990, at age 21, he wrote, performed, and starred in a one-man show called Show Me the Button, I'll Push It, a satirical look at Canadian life. I'm running a one-man show too. It's called The Secret Life of the Disembodied Host. Oh, buff. Save your promo plugs for Facebook. Sorry. In 1992, Mercer joined forces with other talented Canadians to create a brand new television series for CBC called This Hour Has 22 Minutes. The show ran like a normal nightly news broadcast, but instead of just reporting news, Mercer and company made fun of it relentlessly. No prime minister, executive assistant, or receptionist was safe from this hour's wrath. Um, I mean, poignant sense of political irony. Huh? Never mind. What really made Mercer stand out from his fellow funny anchors was his no-nonsense style speaking directly into the camera to you, the viewers, about current political issues that you need to know about, laugh about, get angry about, or possibly all of the above. His greatest success during his eight seasons on the multiple award-winning show began as short segments where Mercer would courageously head south of the border to investigate just how well our American cousins knew us or actually how incredibly not well they knew us. Or know us. Actually, I'm not sure. Rick Mercer hasn't done one of these segments in a very long time. <laughs> Aptly named Talking to Americans, Rick Mercer would head out to popular American attractions and stop people on the street and ask them with complete seriousness if Canada should move from the 20-hour clock to the 24-hour clock and stand by while Americans talk themselves into a deep, deep hole of cultural, geographical, and or political ignorance. Canadian viewers got to see just how painfully misinformed the average American was, and possibly still is. We don't know. Rick should do a sequel, Talking to Americans 2. Let's give our neighbors to the South the benefit of the doubt. I'm sure many Americans have brushed up on their Canadian trivia since then. Perhaps. My guess is that they still believe that Toronto was the capital of Canada. The Saskatchewan seal hunt is back on, and Prime Minister Tim Horton has another double-double. 
Even though Talking to Americans just began as a regular segment on this hour, it reached popularity so quickly that it was expanded into an hour-long special in 2001 that reached 2.7 million viewers. The highest rated comedy special in CBC history. Wow. Also worth a quick mention, while he was starring on This Hour Has 22 Minutes, he also found a time to co-create and star in the award-winning sitcom Made in Canada, which poked fun at the feelings of the Canadian TV industry. The show ran for five seasons and became syndicated abroad in several different languages. What's Spurser up to now? Well, since he left This Hour back in 2001, he's written a couple of books highlighting his ability to rant through a series of short essays. He's also visited troops in Afghanistan and obtained honorary degrees from six different universities, despite never having graduated from high school. Aren't you forgetting something? What? You're supposed to be the expert. Ah, yes. There's also this little tiny program he threw together called the Rick Mercer Report. I call it a Canadian daily show, but considering Mercer had the format down pat before the Stewart character ever came along, it would be a pretty big insult to- Stick to the script, Tiffany. We don't need any feuds getting in the way of production. Good point, Buff. A 22 minute long show written by Mercer and fellow veterans from this hour, the Rick Mercer Report opens by dissecting the week's headlines with some sketches, rants, and interviews mixed in all together. The report has survived time slot changes and fluctuating ratings, so I think it's safe to say that Rick Mercer continues to reign as king of Canadian comedy. Do you think you'll sign my Made in Canada DVD box set? I have all five seasons on DVD! Well, that's all the time we have for this week. But before you go, be sure to take a crack at this week's trivia question. Where is the alleyway of Rick's famous rants located? List the exact street names. Then tweet your answers to at Out of Frame TV. You can also write your answers in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on those very popular social media sites. You may know them as Chirp Chat and the Book of Faces. She means Twitter and Facebook. Yes, Buff, but I was trying to be funny. Haha. <laughs> Keep trying. I think I'd prefer Adam and Alessandra. Come on, Buff. It's my first time hosting. The least you could do is to pretend to be supportive. Yay, Tiffany. Jeez, thanks. Tune in next week when Alessandra tells us all about the life and works of the poised and elegant French actress Audrey Toutou. Au revoir.